Please welcome to the stage, software engineer of Framework R&D Group at Samsung Electronics, Rong Chun Wu. Hello, my name is Long Chun Wu. I am a developer who specializes in gamepad related technologies for Thailand TV. Today, I would like to introduce you to some exciting features and improvements that we have made to support gamepads on Titan TVs. As cloud gaming continues to gain popularity, ensuring that major gamepads work well on TVs is becoming increasingly important. In this presentation, we will discuss the current support status of gamepad the types of drivers that have been supported, and how to use GamePad effectively. Additionally, we will explore some, some ways to ensure that new GamePad work well. Finally, we will share some tips for GamePad development and uh, our upcoming plans for improving GamePad support on Titan TVs. Above are the topics we will introduce today. All right, let's begin our first topic, introduction. In this section, we will introduce three topics, gamepad architecture, gamepad operation specification, and gamepad support list. This is current gamepad architecture on Titan TV. From the figure, you can see we support two types of game applications, WAVE and C Sharp. There is also a background gamepad surface that runs constantly responsible for monitoring gamepad connection and disconnection events and dispatching gamepad device information to gamepad API through GDBus. The both C Sharp gamepad API and W3C gamepad API are based on gamepad API. Once a gamepad is connected, the kernel loads the corresponding gamepad drawer based on gamepad's VID and PID. When a gamepad button is pressed, the gamepad drawer reports the button events to device node. The application then detects the events through slow, slow the gamepad API. In Titan TV, there are two modes many mode and game mode. Why game mode requires running a cloud game app, many mode doesn't. In many mode, customer can use the gamepad to control the TV, just like using a remote controller. To navigate through the menu, you can use the following buttons. A button represents OK action. B button represents cancel action. X button launches the number bar. Select button launches game bar if the TV game mode is on. Home button launches smart hub app or game hub app. Right joystick buttons mutes the TV. Left joystick and D-pad up, down, left, right buttons navigates up, down, left, right. Right joystick up, down buttons control the volume up, down. Right joystick left, right buttons, control the channel up, down. Holding both the left and the right joystick for one second powers off the TV. In game mode, you can use a gamepad to control the game freely, and the gamepad key events are handled by game application itself. Currently, Titan TV supports several gamepads, including Xbox 360 controller, Xbox One controller, DualShock 4 controller, DualSense Wireless controller, Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Those gamepads can be used in both main mode and game mode to control the TV and the games, respectively. In Titan TV, we support many popular gamepads, such as Logitech, Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, and Amazon. As many more new gamepads become available, we will continue to expand our support. 
We also support wide and wireless connections as well as rubber functions if the gamepad has them. Thailand TV supports rubber of the highlighted gamepads in the table. For game APP developers, we have two main topics to cover. Using gamepad in web applications and C sharp applications. For web applications, we have full support for W3C gamepad API. You can use the API directly as we have already adapted it at the system level. To use the API, simply follow the official guide at here. The guide includes three main interfaces, gamepad, gamepad button, and gamepad events. Additionally, the method getGamePads is extended by navigator interface. The method returns an array of gamepad objects. In addition to the standard W3C gamepad API, we have an extension in gamepad interface to support vibration. Web app can use this feature to make gamepad vibrate. Here is a simple web application that only uses one gamepad. All right. Let's talk about gamepads and how to use them in web apps and C sharp apps. First, let's talk about web apps. Currently, web apps only support standard gamepads. The indices in buttons and axes should correspond as closely as possible to the physical locations in the diagram above. Next, let us see example of web app using gamepad. In the sample, we monitor gamepad connection and disconnection event. And when there is gamepad connection event, we call gamepad navigator dot get gamepads to get a new range of gamepad objects. And once button A is pressed, we call gamepad dot Vibration accelerator that play effect to make the gamepad have a vibration effect. This is just a simple web application sample for reference. Now, let's talk about C Sharp applications. We have provided a set of C Sharp gamepad API to help you use gamepad in your C Sharp applications. Before we start using the API, let's talk, look at the gamepad button mapping for C Sharp gamepad API. The buttons on the gamepad are divided into four types. Gamepad buttons, gamepad D-pad, gamepad sound sticks, and gamepad triggers. Gamepad buttons include button A, B, X, Y, back, start, big button, left stick, right stick, left shooter, and right shooter. Gamepad D-pad includes buttons up, down, left, right. Gamepad sound sticks includes left joystick and right joystick. Its property value ranges from minus one to one in both X and Y directions. Gamepad triggers includes left trigger and right trigger. And uh, its value ranges from zero to one. Now, let's see the detailed definition for each type and explain how to use them. To use the methods and the properties of the C Sharp Gamepad API, include the Titan.tv.accessory namespace in your application. We mainly provide three functions to gate status, gate, obtain the device information and the button status of the gamepad. Get device info, it is used to get gamepad related. Device info, including vendor ID, product ID, device name, and uh, unique ID. You can see gamepad device info definition for more details. Get state and get states are both used to get button status of the gamepad. Compare the difference is that get states can be used to get a list of get gamepad state. Compared with get state, get states can achieve better performance if your app needs to get trigger or joystick status in time. We have introduced the gamepad button mapping before. What are belongs to gamepad buttons? What are belongs to gamepad d-pad, etc. Here, you can also check the detailed scope from the 
definition of respective structure, game pad buttons, game pad D pad, game pad thumbsticks, and game pad triggers. In this sample, we use the get states method of the game pad class to retrieve multiple game pad state instances for the same game pad. We then check if the, if the game pad is connected by checking the is connected property of the, each game pad state. If the game pad is connected, we retrieve the current status of the buttons, D pad, triggers, and joysticks using their respective properties. The code demonstrates the simplicity of using the game pad class to access the game pad, game pad's input state. The third topic is for game pad developers. In this topic, we will introduce Java architecture, currently supported drivers and driver key code corresponding to each button. Let us firstly introduce Java architecture. Most game pads use HID driver, so we will show how HID driver works in ta on Tizen TV. When a game pad is connected, the corresponding HID driver is loaded. First, the HID driver will create a device node in the input system. When a gamepad button is pressed, UHID dispatches the key event to HID call, which then dispatches the event to HID driver. HID driver finally reports the event to input system. HID driver can also transfer data to gamepad slow HID call and UHID. For more details, you can check this picture. This table lists specific drivers we have supported, including HID Amazon, HID Generic, HID Microsoft, HID Invita, HID Sony, HID PlayStation, HID Xpaid, and Xpaid Nero. Those drivers will be updated at any time to support the new gamepad features. Xpaid Nero is a driver we ported from here. It is used to support the BT connection, BT, used to support the BT connection of Xbox Series X and uh, Xbox Elite, Elite wireless controller, including rubber support as well. HID Amazon is developed by ourselves to support the BT connections of Amazon Luna wireless controller, including rubber support as well. Other driver files are ported from open source and uh, work well on Titan TV. For a gamepad key, there are actually two types of codes, the driver code and the platform code. And the driver code and the platform code must be mapped to avoid key mismatch issue. It must implement each key press event to generate appropriate driver key code. The left tables illustrate the various buttons on the game page. The EV key event type describes the state change of buttons. On a game page, button press and release events are detected as EV key events. The first label lists the driver and the platform code mapping for EV key events. The labels corresponding to those in figure game page buttons. The EV ABS event type describes absolute axis value changes. On a game page, the thumbsticks, D pad, and the trigger, are the trigger buttons are detected as EV ABS events. The second table lists the driver and the platform code mapping for EV ABS events. Now, let's introduce some tips and the testing strategies for game page developers. In this topic, we will give tips for developing web APPs and uh, testing game pages in web applications and uh, C Sharp applications. Tizen TV supports calling navigated dot get game pages in web worker threads to improve performance. We provide this solution because the random main thread can sometimes become busy, leading to long intervals 
between calls to navigate the dedicated game page. This can result in increased game page key latency and even loss of key events. To demonstrate this, we have created a simple web application that continuously draw graphics causing the random man thread to be busy. We have used two methods to call navigator dedicated game page in the simple application. One in the random man thread, another in a web worker. We have set the interval to eight milliseconds. However, as shown in the figure above, the intervals between calls to navigate that get and pace in random main thread is very large, sometimes exceeding 100 milliseconds. This due to the busy random main thread. In contrast, the interval between calls to navigate that get and pace in the web worker is relatively small and stable, making it a better choice for improving performance. Therefore, we recommend using the W3C Gamepad API in web workers in such case. In fact, we have already released the verification method on the Samsung developer website. You can find testing gamepad functionality section in the following MIO. To verify that your gamepad works well on web applications, you can use the provided gamepad checker application. Simply press each key on the gamepad. If the app responds correctly to each gamepad key, it means your gamepad can work well on web apps. The image here shows the gamepad checker application screen. The C sharp verification application can also be used to ensure that your gamepad works well in your C sharp applications. Press each key on your gamepad. And if the app responds correctly to each gamepad key, it means your gamepad can work well on C sharp apps. In many game scenarios, two or more gamepads are needed. And the gamepad can be connected and disconnected many times. Here, we just want to show how the index change when in such case, because some web apps may have some usage issues about such scenarios. Take three gamepads, for example, and named gamepad one, gamepad two, and gamepad three. Initially, three gamepads are connected at the same time. And gamepad 1's index is 0, gamepad 2's index is 1, gamepad 3's index is 2. Then disconnect gamepad 2. Again, disconnect 2. Now only gamepad's index 0 and gamepad's index 2 is not now. Both gamepad's index 1 and gamepad's index 3 are now. If we connected game page two again, then game page index one will be not now again, and it represents game page two. The system always scan the index from zero to three and find a now one. Our next plan includes supporting web XR controllers, providing support for game page manufacturers and uh, game application developers, and expanding our support for non-standard game pages, such as flight, joystick, and driving wheel. That's all. Thank you.